Hello then viewers, so I'm up here in Stillorgan in South County Dublin and I have agreed to buy a new car. Um, not going to tell you what it is, going to leave you all uh, in a bit of suspense, but uh, it drove drove pretty well. I didn't quite wear the right shoes, which are probably a size too big for me, so finding the pedals was a little bit tricky. Um, it's small, not going to tell you what country it's from, uh, but it's small, that's all I'm going to say, and it's got three doors. So uh, I'm really excited actually. Um, going to come up here tomorrow evening then, Tuesday evening, pay the man his monies um, and drive away in my new car. So I don't know how I'm going to get up here tomorrow um, via train, bus, hook or crook, but I'll find a way up here and I'll be driving home in my new car. So I'm, uh, yeah, really rather excited about that. Okay, there's just a little quick update on my journey. I'm on my way to collect the new car. Not going to say what it is, of course, um, but I'm in Stillorgan in South County Dublin, so I'm uh, on the way, a little bit knackered, walking for about half an hour now at this stage. So I'm going to get a bit of food, cup of tea, etc, etc, sit down and wait for six o'clock to tick round and then I'll be handing over some monies, the keys will be in my possession. Hello then viewers, so here's the new motor, are you ready? Here it is, it's a Peugeot 106, look at that, isn't it lovely, what a colour as well, do a little walk around video of it, there's the back, with the obligatory faded rear Peugeot badge, they all do that sir. and a side profile. This is pretty much as Boggo spec standard as you can get. It's the XN model, which includes such luxuries as non-color coordinated door handles and bumper inserts. Plastic trims, OVs. That didn't come as standard, but is there now, so I must stitch that back together. Oh dear. We've got keep fit windows. We've also got toggly mirrors, although this little stubby thing here seems to be depressed or pressed into the little mechanism for some reason, but they kind of work. It's actually just easier if you, while stuck in a traffic jam, do that. Although I'm worried the glass is gonna pop out. Um, we haven't got a temperature gauge, we only have a warning light for when the temperature gets too hot. Uh, the fuel gauge is what I would describe as unreliable. Um, what else have we got? We've got blanking plates, so that does nothing, that does nothing, and obviously there's nothing there. Uh, we have no rear headrests, so at least you get a good view out of the back window. Um, the Seats are covered with my own gear for cleaning and servicing, maintaining it, etc. Um, she's a five speed manual, as you can see there. Um, and actually, surprisingly enough, there is a little bit of power out of her when you put the foot down. But yeah, as I was saying, very, very basic. Um, so basic that the vanity mirror is gone. Don't know where or why that isn't there, but uh, not really a huge issue. My one is there. Hello. So, uh, it does though have an airbag at least, uh, but not a passenger one. Um, yeah, so you're going to be watching this video the wrong way round. Today is Thursday and I bought the car on Tuesday evening, so I foolishly forgot to do a kind of reveal video. Uh, I couldn't have done it Tuesday because it was, it was dark, really, when I picked up around half six up in, uh, up in, up in uh, South County Dublin. So, um, you're going to do a bit of time travelling now and you're going to go back to the journey home on Tuesday evening. Okay then, you join me in my new car, my Peugeot 106. Um, yeah, it's nice actually. I mean, it's not got too many uh, bells and whistles. It's pretty basic all round. A couple of blanking plates. Um, but um, it is a car, it drives, it's NCT'd and it's taxed. So I can't really complain, to be honest. 
Um, I'm gonna hit the road then and get on home. Okay, so a journey update then from the 106. Um, annoyingly, I forgot to bring my little uh, squeegee suction cup tripod phone holder thingy, so I'm gonna have to do this as so, and I've obviously picked a built-up area to do it in, so you can see me with the street lights. Uh, house, how are things going? Things are going okay, actually, yeah. It's, um, I tell you what, it holds its own at motorway speeds absolutely splendidly. It bombs along at 70 miles an hour. It feels like it could do it all day. Yeah, it's quite loud um, and boomy, but um, it's nippy, it's quick. For a little one liter engine, I tell you what, it is very, very quick. Um, the steering is really, really light. Um, there isn't an awful lot of feel to it, which has taken me quite a lot of getting used to. I'm not really a big fan of it already. And the brakes, as I mentioned a second ago, the brakes are terrible. The pedal goes on the straight to the floor, so that's something I'm going to have to get done pretty quick. Um, but apart from that, everything is okay. So we're making good progress, if you can still hear me, that is, because it's quite loud in here now. Um, we're making good progress. We should be home in about 15 or 20 minutes' time. Wish me luck.